Hey guys, this is Harsha. Um, I made this video due to some confusion by creationists who are trying to argue against my other videos, and I think there's like uh, I didn't explain it properly because it's like white words on a blue screen. So I think you guys might understand a little bit better if I if you heard my voice. So tell me if you preferred this way, or I'll switch back to the other way of making videos. So here I want to um, argue about Bayesian inference, which, as you guys know, is the linchpin argument of all my videos. And there's a reason for that. See, the thing is, Bayesian inference is a mathematical theorem. You guys know what a scientific theorem is. It requires uh, proof and evidence, and it requires you know um, experimental you know, data and all that other stuff. But a mathematical theorem isn't like that. Because the thing is, a mathematical theorem is derived from proofs. Proofs are like if then statements. They If something is true then something else is true. So they're if then statements. It's a logical argument. There's a reason I use a mathematical theorem to uh, demonstrate a logical argument. It's because one time I was arguing with this guy and I said hey you're making a logical fallacy and he said no you're making a logical fallacy. So I decided to use this equation because if he thinks I'm making a logical fallacy, then he should be able to disprove my equation or find another equation that's better than it. So I told him about the equation. He said, no, 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 I don't have anything against Bayesian inference. It's just that I don't think you can use Bayesian inference in this setting because uh, because uh, there's so many negations in uh, in evolution that that it can be applied to Bayesian inference. Well, what does Bayesian inference say? It says that you're testing the validity of a theory. So if you think that uh, if you think that this is a valid uh, test for the validity of a theory, then you should use this. You should use the logical argument. But if you have some other tests, he said that if there, if you use an equation that uses both the negation of the of of, of evolution and the positive prediction, you'll find that evolution is wrong. Well, then do it. Find that equation. I don't know where that equation is. I've never seen it. it. Doesn't exist. You need to show me. You need to prove what you're saying is right. You can't just say you're right. But but Bayesian inference, it has been proved. It has been proven to be accurate. For example, I use it in my uh, genetics class to see if uh, two genes. Uh, were linked. And the way to do this is to use a pedigree chart, which is similar to a phylogenetic tree in evolution, so it's perfectly analogous, and one can be carried over to the other. One argument can be carried over to the other. So what I did was I, I um, you know, calculated out the numbers and checked to see if uh, what the chance of two genes being linked were based on the pedigree and the phenotypes, right? And I found something like 70% chance they were linked, right? Now I can test this by like poking the cell and then getting the DNA out and looking at the chromosome, well, not getting the DNA out, but looking at the chromosome and checking to see if uh, both the genes were on the same chromosome. It can be done, you know, you can look at it visually. So you can, it, so you know that my methodology, you know, my, the parameters that I'm using in my equation, you know, what, what, is, what makes this va a valid statement, those are correct. The logic behind my argument is correct, that you don't need negations that uh, just predictions are enough. We know that these two things are correct because we have proven it. If you disagree, find an equation that can not only answer um, these genetics, uh, this genetics question, can answer thousands of other uh, uh, questions that Bayesian inference has um, answered correctly. And then we can apply that equation to evolution and see if it works. You're never going to do it, of course, because if you do, then you're going to get like many mathematical awards and your victory in front of me is not your biggest uh, concern. So of course the logic of my argument is correct. There's an, you cannot disprove the mathematical equation, right? And if you disagree, again, you're not only disagreeing with biology, you're disagreeing with mathematics. So what does um, uh, Bayesian inference state? What is the logic? What does it say that is logical? Um, well, it says that uh, you need predictions, not explanations, right? Explanations aren't sufficient if, for a theory. They're, they're, they're required, of course, but they're not sufficient for the validity of a theory. So, for example, um, uh, Ken Homan always says, oh, we're looking at the same evidence, but uh, we're coming to a different conclusion. And, well, that's okay. I can come, I can come to a different conclusion about anything. For example, I can say that uh, coin tosses, natural, naturally, there's no such thing as random chance in coin tosses. Uh, naturally speaking, and this is my made-up theory, uh, naturally speaking, the coin always lands on tails, right? That's what the nat it's naturally supposed to do all the time. But God flips it half the time so it lands on head. 
That's totally a valid explanation for how coin tosses work. You cannot disprove it. And it's an explanation. But the thing is, it doesn't give us anything. And that's the issue. It doesn't tell us anything new. Michael Shermer like, uses this argument against... Um, against what's his name, um, Ken Hoven. Uh, he, tell, he tells us it doesn't, creationism doesn't give us anything new, it doesn't explain anything new to us. And that's the whole issue. That's why we use predictions. So we can learn something new. Okay, we can understand the model better. Okay, if we are able to make predictions, that's like seeing into the future. You know, that's really important. Right? So, so that's one thing. And the other thing is the idea of uh, comparison. Uh, the Bayesian inference doesn't state that one idea is right and the other is wrong. Bayesian inference uh, states which is more accurate in terms of each other. It doesn't say evolution is right or evolution is wrong. It says, is evolution more accurate in comparison to something else, in comparison to creationism or intelligent design or something else like that. So you can't just disprove, you know, hack, do a hack job of evolution. You need to be able to simultaneously prove creationism correct. And I've rarely ever seen that. Usually they're just attacks on evolution rarely ever seen uh, uh, predictions by creationism. Never. Never seen it. So, that's that. Um, so, the thing is, this one guy said, uh, what about uh, guesses? Right? Uh, if you can guess enough times, again, he was attacking the logic of the equation. It says that negations are not used. He was like, no, negations have to be used. Because what if you guess? Well, some of the time, those guesses are going to be correct. Right? Well, th that's technically true. But again, this is in comparison to something else. So let's let's make up this, uh, this scenario where uh, I say that uh, I have this theory that explains the how coin tosses work. So and I say that every single time it lands on tails. Right? That's my theory. Right? And we toss it, and what do we see? We apply Bayesian inference, what do we see? We see that half the time, my prediction is correct. Right, So we have to accept it, because there's no other theory that can answer this better. So at the moment, this is all we have. And at least it answers the question half the time. Right, That's the important thing. At least you have some predictions that are correct. Right? That's the whole issue about science. You, don't want, you, you may not be able to answer everything, but at least some things. Right, So... At least half the time you're correct. Well, now this other theory now comes up, which says that half the time, the theory says, half the time it should land on tails, half the time it should land on heads. Well, in comparison to the past theory, what happens? You see that this new theory can explain better than the old theory can, right? It can predict more than the other theory can. Thus, it supersedes that other theory. This is what we see with uh, um, Einstein superseding uh, Newton, right? It doesn't mean that Newton is wrong. It just means that Einstein can explain things more than Newton can, right? That's why his theory superseded Newton's theory. And it's the same thing. If you guys disagree with evolution, you need to find the theory that supersedes evolution, that can predict just as much and even more than evolution. So that's why even if you guys attack and do a hack job of uh, evolution, even if one prediction is correct, for evolution, and you guys have zero predictions for creationism. Evolutionary is necessarily correct, according to Bayesian inference. It's much more likely to be correct, just based on that one prediction, because you guys have zero. So the focus is now on creationism. The focus is you how to find predictions. So, so and if you guys are attacking, uh, the, and the, here's another thing about negations, is you're attacking uh, human no, lack of knowledge. Of course we won't be able to understand everything about evolution. Of course there are going to be some um, predictions that are wrong or some things we don't completely understand. That's the nature of all things, including gravity and, and, and subatomic particles and anything else. You know, but at least we can understand some things. That's why Bayesian infer inference is a comparison of theories. It doesn't tell us whether one theory is correct or one theory is wrong. You won't find that anywhere. You won't find that kind of equation anywhere because that's illogical. It tells us what's better than what we already know. So our inf our knowledge always keeps growing. There's always more than what we had before. Okay, I'm going to continue this in uh, later videos.